Whether you know him as Dracula, Saruman, Frankenstein's monster, or even Count Dooku, Christopher Lee is known as one of the most prolific actors of all time, with a career spanning just over 60 years. Having been in countless films over the years, we wanted to honor his memory by going over his first major role compared to his most famous in an attempt to get a better understanding of his acting and who he was as a person. The Curse of Frankenstein by Hammer Film Productions is a British horror film created in 1957 and is directed by Terence Fisher. The film stars Peter Cushing as Dr. Victor Frankenstein and Christopher Lee as Frankenstein's monster, or the creature. The film is somewhat based on the novel Frankenstein or the modern Prometheus by Mary Shelley. As I mentioned, Christopher Lee takes on the role of the creature, Frankenstein's monster, when he was around 35 years old. This is counted as Lee's first major role and sparked his long-lasting and very successful career. In this role, Lee relies on his highly advanced physical acting to play the towering character that is Frankenstein's monster, and really gives it his all with little things, such as the inhumane look in his eye and the rigid movements that he makes throughout the film. The effect that this has on the movie is best displayed when Victor Frankenstein sees a monstrosity that he had created for the first time. It's a mix of surprise, shame, horror, and everything that is necessary for a classic horror movie. It's everybody involved in the making of the film did a fantastic job, but Christopher Lee was definitely the cherry on top of it all. Horror of Dracula. It might be difficult to grasp at first, but even with a career spanning over six decades, Christopher Lee's most famous role only came one year after his first major film, and not only had the same director, but also came from the same studio, Hammer Film Productions. Released in 1958, Horror of Dracula went on to be known as one of the most influential and genre-defining films of all time. While the roles aren't very apart from one another time-wise, they couldn't be more different. Going from playing a big monster known for its slow and few speaking lines, his portrayal of the vampire helped to create a standard of charismatic and dialogue-driven Dracula that we all know today. While giving respect and credit to the Dracula performers before him, he put his own spin on the ancient vampire. His role as a sinister monster shows a perfect juxtaposition between him and the Honorable Van Helsing, who is trying to put an end to his evil ways. Mixing his chilling performance with an astonishing soundtrack and ahead of its time special effects team and the overall dark and eerie atmosphere of the movie, we can really see how this movie earned the high praise it had received. Some honorable mentions for his most famous roles include Saruman in The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings, Francisco Scaramanga in The Man with the Golden Gun, and then Count Dooku from the Star Wars prequels. We had an absolute blast going over all these classic movies and highly recommend you check them out for yourselves.